Hello and welcome to my quick 11 Labs voice cloning tutorial where I'm going to show you how to clone your voice. Keep in mind, this has a little disclaimer here. It says your creative AI toolkit, design entirely new synthetic voices from scratch, clone your own voice or a voice you have a permission and rights to only you have access to your voices you create. So that's something to keep in mind. So I can create one for me and like everyone's not going to be able to use it. So make sure you have the rights to do it. With that in mind, I'm not going to be doing any celebrity voices or anything like that, but I will be doing mine. I've created it and then I deleted it. So I'm going to go back, start from scratch and show you exactly what I did so that you can clone your own voice. So we're going to be in the voice lab section right here. Let's click on the plus button where it says add generative or cloned voice. From here, I want the instant voice cloning. And something great about this is that it pretty much creates just about automatically. I've done other voice cloning, I guess you could say uh, tutorials or software, and sometimes it can take like 24 hours or so, but this one is very rapid and that's good. So it says it should be over a minute long and not contain any background noise. So if you already have a YouTube video, you're gonna be good to go. Or, or otherwise you could just say, you know, record something for over a minute and go from there. Let's click on this. James from Marketing Island. So I already have an MP3 right here. I'm going to upload. I'm also going to show you how I got this quickly. Okay, so all I did is since I have so many YouTube videos, and I imagine if you watch my channel a lot, you're probably a YouTuber as well, is that if you have the file, you can always download it in YouTube. And I just went to this site where it converts MP4 to MP3. So if you upload your file, give it about, I don't know, like five minutes or so, it'll then allow you to download it as an MP3. And that's exactly what I did here. So that'll have to, that'll save you some time from having to like, say, go in there and like record a voiceover or just, you know, like over a minute it'll save you some time. So that's a good thing. So, so sample quality is more important than quantity. Noisy samples may give bad results. Providing more than five minutes of audio in total brings little improvement. Okay. So that's just something to keep in mind. So let's give it some labels here. For example, we have accent American. That's going to be fine. Then we have say like gender is another one we can do. We can do male and then check mark. Let's do one more. So we can do like age, you know, like, oops, middle-aged. Okay. Something like that. And how would you describe the voice? So allow me to put this very quickly. So a 36 year old man who makes his confidence with comedy, or at least I hope that I come off that way is I'm sure sometimes you might listen to my videos or hear them or whatever and be like, James, you didn't get a lot of sleep last night. And I'd be like, you're probably correct. So straight to the point and factual. Okay. Then there's just going to be this little, um, Thing you got to check off that all the necessary rights are consents to upload and clone these voice samples, and I will not use the platform generated content for any illegal, fraudulent, or harmful purposes, so on and so forth. And just like that, let's click on the add voice button. Okay, and after about like 10 seconds, we are now free to use it. I'm going to X off of this and let's go on over here where we can edit it around. Now, if you need to edit that for any reason, you can always change things around, but that looks good. If you want to remove it, there's the button and let's click on use. Okay, so I have thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. That's usually what I say at the end of my videos. So starting off, keep in mind, there's going to be specific voice settings for this. So it can sound very off. Now, something I also want to bring up in case you're like, well, it sounds like me, but it could be better. It might be because of the audio that you did. For the example, like the video that I turned into an MP3, I don't remember if the quality was like perfect or great. If you're looking for the best, you're probably better off just recording into a mic for like a minute or two and going that way, just so you know know that the quality is going to be a-okay. Nevertheless, let's test it out, just hear what it has to say, and then we can tweak it around a little. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Okay, so that does not sound like me because it's like, blah, 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 right? <laughs> not as upbeat. So we have, um, we'll make the voice more consistent, but it'll make it sound monotone. So I think we were a little too monotone. So let's go to like 30 and see how it changes. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Okay, not bad, a little better. Let's go like say 20. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Okay, not bad. Let's see. Let's see if we go to clarity all the way up. Like this is what I've noticed when it comes to 11 labs. You really got to play around with the settings. I still think the voice could be overall a little bit better, but it is similar to me at the time. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Okay, that sounded way more like me, but it was also like less pausey. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. So now that we're up that high, let's take a little lower and play with it there. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.
Okay, that changed it a good amount, but let's drag it down a little bit further. See what it sounds like. See what see what it looks like. Let's see what it sounds like. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. A little bit more robotic, I want to say, but let's go all the way to the end there. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Definitely not that one. So it sounds like we want to be somewhere in the middle, maybe 60. Thank you for watching, and then I'll see you in my next video. <laughs> Clearly, we want that a little bit more higher. So let's go right there. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Mm, let's see. Let's go back this way. Like I said, we're playing with the settings here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Let's see. More variable. Let's go to zero. Again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. I think it was best when this was the highest, not super high, and then like this was around, say, like there. Let's test that. I thank you for watching, and I'm, I'll see you in my next video. Okay, that one has more of like a thank you uh, for a while. Like, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's like Elvis Presley. So like you really got to play around with it just to get it where you want it to go. So for example, how I would normally say this is thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Let's play. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Okay, that was like a lot of different voices going on there. 70. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. And I'll see you in my thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. <laughs> oh my god, I have so much fun with this. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Okay, let's go back with stability. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Okay, so that one was okay. Let's go back to say like the uh the voice lab if we want to edit this a little. Um just do like a 36 year old man, uh, American male. Let's say we take that off. And sure. We can go back here. And what do we have for settings? Let's do default again. See where it goes. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. I think that one is more closer to where we want to be. So maybe we'll keep that there. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Okay, like the voice is like a little, I want to say it's like a little deeper or like like the pitch of it. But overall, that's not too bad. Like I know I can tweak it much more and get better. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Okay, all right, I would say. But once again, it needs a little bit more work. But overall, like that's going to be the process when you're using the voice cloning. I truly do think it comes down to the actual video clip that you have and the audio that you have in the beginning. I think it'll be a lot easier to grab a better sample if the sample is better in the first place. So that's something I do want you to keep in mind that your output is once again, probably dependent on the input. And then of course, it's going to be the tweaking. There was one audio section in here where I thought was really good, but then I kept moving it around and I, I lost it. So like I said, everything with this is going to come around with some tweaking, but it doesn't have to be 100% perfect. Maybe with cloning, you want it to be a little bit better compared to like using a pre-made voice, but nevertheless, that's going to be the tutorial when it comes to the voice cloning. It's easy to set up. It's just a lot of the playing around with that you can expect to do in terms of getting your voice as close as possible to yours in the first place. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.